Most of my neighbors really don't like me. That's pretty great. This is my backyard. It's the wash kind of behind the desert. There's really nothing to crash into out there other than bushes. The only thing you really have to worry about is a rattlesnake. So I think I'm going to try to get set up, figure out where I can stand. Yeah, take you through kind of a practice of what I'm working on and go from there. Pilot stance, that drops me down a little bit. Well, I didn't think of that. The cinematic. Okay, yeah, today we're gonna fly the 250. All right, here we go. And another thing that might be difficult is trying to learn how to fly and talk at the same time. So the 250 is a lot of fun to fly because it's lightweight. It doesn't have the best tune on it right now, which is something we'll probably work on in the future. But yeah, for right now, just getting used to the sticks again, getting used to kind of talking to you guys and flying at the same time. So one of the things that I'm working on is getting more consistent with my stick inputs. So not inputting yaw when I mean to input throttle and like when I do a forward roll just having that be pure, you know, forward stick and not any left or right. Same when I do a roll like that. I've spent a lot of time working on that. I don't think I'm very good at it yet. And I think maybe the next thing to do would be um, to put the stick inputs like on the screen itself so I can see it on the OSD. Um, that'll probably help me a lot. But yeah, I've been working on like flips and rolls for a while. One of the things that I wanna learn is how to combine more of the uh, flips and rolls together because a lot of what I'm seeing other pilots do are basically just flips and rolls in combination, right? That's how most of the tricks are, are built. Yep, I like those big lazy back flips. Uh, so like as far as what's fun to fly around, there's these two mature Saguaros, which are a lot of fun. One of the things that I definitely should work on are my orbit skills right now, which are like non-existent, uh, but those would be fun to orbit. Yeah, sometimes it's just a lot of fun to fly. Um, yep, feel very lucky to have this as my backyard. All right, let's take a look at the front yard. We've got a couple trees here. This one's found a power loop, but I don't trust the video not to drop out when I go down low there. So yep, this is my property. Let's get a look from above. That's me. Most of my neighbors really don't like me. That's unfortunate, but I'm not breaking any laws. Okay. Well, now we're just having fun, not really working on anything, but that's okay too. Uh, so we're talking about putting uh, flips and rolls together. One of the things that I'm still working on is the juicy flick, which is just kind of a half forward flip and a half roll out. Um, and it's not that either of those is very hard, but making it look consistently good is what I find very hard. So that's what I'm working on, just trying to like put together a really clean, juicy flick, like hopefully a lot cleaner than that. <laughs> but hey, we're all learning, right? Everybody's working on the same stuff, so. So I feel like my hand slipped a little bit off of the throttle there and I might've input some yaw. Let's try again. That was pretty good. It was like a slow roll out. I think I could have entered with a little bit more upside down. Um, and I do feel like there's a bug like crawling on my hands right now. Yep, definitely a bug, but hey, that happens. All right, we're like at 3.6 volts. This thing will basically fly forever. Um, 3.7 volts. We're been in the air for four minutes. 
I'm going to take it in, and uh, we'll see you back at the workbench. This is my 3-inch drone, and it's missing a flight controller. Today, we're going to get the 3-inch drone back in the air, and you guys are going to get to enjoy a montage of how I did it. Welcome to Workbench Zen. Right, boy. 